Um, what about the other side? Let's check out the other side first, maybe. That door looks important. Oh, but this is getting out of here. Okay, uh, that one isn't getting out of here, right? Never mind. Let's go this side. Some nice blood. Oh, hi. Nope, nope. Can you imagine the electricity costs for this place? Holy crap. Oh, I can't see. Auspex? That's it? Person with a wheelchair here and a little rat. other place then, the mine place. Maybe I should have gone back to that after all. We'll see. Well, I'll make a note of it. I'll remember to go back. The oh, I'm sorry. The voices have increased in frequency and direction of late. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. I fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in co- What? I didn't stop that. Was that my fault? Oh no. Maybe I'll play it again? The voices have increased in frequency this guy, whatever he's direction. describing, happened a long time ago. Back when they were first deciding on the primogens. That's destruction. what it sounds like. I fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously. These are all boarded. I, name for my I can keep fear. going. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. This guy must be even older than... LaCroix then, probably by quite a lot. All the primogens should be because they're like the respected elders of the clans. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic and I have withdrawn from the vampire society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers, especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. Her cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche, dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. Another doomsday kind of thing? Actually, maybe he's talking about LaCroix when he's saying, oh, the person with a lot of ambition who wants, um, who might be committing crimes both in the past and the future. Hey, this one we're getting out of here.
Oh, that's the wife. That's the freaking wife. Gold ring. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. If I play that, is she gonna, like, wake up or something? These are all artifacts related to the wife and his memories of her, I guess. What is that? Oh, no. Ugh. Ugh. But the wife is also a vampire. There's no reason for him to um, preserve her like this. Has she been trapped here the whole time? Is this a fight? Okay, well, I'm just kind of curious what the other doors were then, because why are we getting out of here? This seems like the right place, for sure. What's this? Oh! Oh, oh my god, you move fast! Yeah, that guy's definitely a vampire. He's moving way too fast to not be. What the hell? Nights. Nights gone by. Nights here. Something the taste of the master's blood. He's ter his terrible gaze. The sight of the pale moon in the sky. I am lost, trapped here, trapped here by the master, once his host, loyal servant, but now the victim of his growing mistrust. The fractured surface of his paranoia, hearing the screams beyond these walls. Something has happened. Something unimaginable? Unnameable, the beginnings of a harrowing madness that I surely will not. This person was a servant that worked here. Mm, in the beginning, the guy was sounding quite sane, but towards the end here, a lot of the paranoia and all that, he didn't sound that great anymore. This guy even had a church here. Famous doctor dies in accident. February 28, 1925. 1925. The unrecognizable corpse of renowned shrink Dr. Alistair Grout was found in his burning car as it crashed in the Hollywood Hills today. Oh. Hold on. So 1925, earlier he mentioned that he died 50 years ago, as of the recording of the audio logs, which means it would have been 1975, and right now it's 2004. So the audio logs were recorded like 29 years ago. Oh. What is this place? It's going all over the... What the? Oh. Ow. I'm pretty sure the place we went to was the right place though. So this is like a, a side place? Ah! Oh my god, what? Oh, that's even moving, wow. 
Wow, that's a... Uh... How did you even... Super glue? <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Wow. <gasps> what the heck? I would be going mad if I was stuck here too! I don't blame you! Oh, there's too many doors, holy crap. What? what the? Oh! Oh! My head is spinning. This is the height of amazing architecture. Oh my god, I love this. In a very, like, mad way. What the? Oh! What? Is this your crypt? Ow! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, sunlight! Sunlight! I'm not allowed to touch that. But I want to. I gotta! I can't not touch it just because I'm burning, right? Driver's license. <laughs> what? What the? I'm so lost. Where are we supposed to be going? There's so many. Holy crap. No, we gotta get him. We gotta get him. Ow! You! You're still alive. Hey, you look like Vandal. You all look like hospital workers. Not the same as before. We got a driver's license and somebody burned. So that person might have been a vampire too. California driver's license. The name is Kent Allen Ryan. <gasps> is that... Is that the Toreador? Patty's sire? What? Okay. Oh, why did he walk into the sun? Is he dumb? Anyway though, I pulled that and then something opened. It looks like a door that was leading outside. Oh, here we go. What? I want to know who's around here. I can't stand the noises. Ah. What? what is with this guy? I guess he did have 30 years to build his mansion, but what in the... What in the world? I am so lost. What's the noise? <laughs> They're coming. Time. What is the noise? Stop. Stop. I don't... Maybe that was a recording. Maybe that was a recording. Whoa! Okay, I don't want to play in first person anymore. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Excuse me, please. If you would all just... Hi. Hi. Thank you for the greetings. But I really must go now. Thank you. Oh my god. The hell is this? Oh, okay. Great, we're, we're stuck here now.
okay. Uh, goodbye. No telemarketing, please. Oh, you guys moved again. No, you're- you can- I can go. I can go. You're letting me go. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Goodbye. Here, another phone. Was that the same phone? Oh my god. No, no, that- that's it. Uh... Thank you guys for the warm welcome, but I must be- I really must get going now. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? I don't even know how to walk back. Oh. Stop doing that. Mother shan't be too pleased. None too pleased. Is this guy trying to replicate the experience of being a Malkavian by recording it on the phone? Okay, we're back here. Did I go through all the doors already? This one is that place. This one... Yeah, I think we have. Okay, well I'm out of here then. What the heck? What? <gasps> I don't even... Wait, this was the, the church? I'm so lost. Oh, this is... The scribbles. Is that it? Oh. Wait, in that case, I kind of want to go back down too, because I feel like that place might have gone to this place too. If my guess is right. Because they both lead to a different place on the map. Oh, you've... No, it's here. It's here. Hold on. They gave me two different ways to get up to the upper place. Uh... Yeah, here. The mind is a maze and mazes inspire minds. Labyrinth. Reactions of test subjects to the weirdest environments. Right. That makes sense, right? If it's the same place. Because he was trying to scare me to see what my reactions were going to be. Not me, but the people he was testing on. Oh, but this is a different place! Holy crap! Oh, you're joking me! You're jo What is this? That's locked. If we jump down, we can't get back up. Holy crap. Oh my god, what is happening? I don't know where I'm going. Things. Things are happening. Everything is the same, but it's not. Oh, I'm so lost. What in the world? Oh, okay. Okay, and then that's how we... Yeah, I think now we get back up to... The normal place? Yes, yes, we've been here. We've been here. Okay. Because we killed a lady here before. Right, okay. Ah, it does link back. It does link back. Oh, but the way... Oh, frick, the door... Right, 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 you closed it. I see. Okay, well... Wow, that was... That was something, huh? We could have skipped all of that. Why would they even give you the option of skipping that? That would have been no fun. Anyway, the last time we were here... The door unlocked? Oh, you dead.
Is that Groud? I don't think so. <gasps> Did somebody stake him? What? Somebody staked him. What? What's happening? What's happening? <gasps> he really did die. What? That's so... You have viewed the charred remains of Alistar Grout. You should probably inform the prince about his demise. But who could kill him? He sounded so smart and he was a primogen and all. Oh. Oh my god! By the flames! Grout's dead. Wait, if I say that. If I say that, he might think I killed him. I'm not Grout! You already killed him! Grout is dead? Pity it could not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth for the coming of the Lord! Oh, is this guy a vampire hunter? He sounds religious though. Who the hell are you? Yes, you burn. Tell them it was Greenfeld Bach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let this righteous display serve as a promise to all who serve the archfiend Lacroix. I'm coming for you, Lacroix. By the power of the Lord, I will cleanse your black soul. No, no, I'm with the Anarchs. I'm not with the Camarilla. I don't know who Lacroix is. Oh, God! God! What do I just- Oh! Uh... I guess I'm going now. Are you trying to lead me to- Ooh! Guys, we gotta get out of here, okay? We don't have time for this. Forget about killing me! Kill the guy that set the place on fire! Holy crap, where are we? Oh, you dummy, you dummy. Why would you do that? Wait, we've never been here before. I don't recognize this place. I know you're burning, but I still want to feed on you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch it, buddy. Jeez. Wait, what about that? Okay, never mind. What? Um. Oh. <gasps> okay. Um. It was already like this when I got here. Bye. Oh, that was... We had an exciting adventure today. Um... Yeah. Yeah. What was that? I forgot that guy's name already. But he didn't seem like a vampire. He was saying that, oh, all the guys who serve the prince should die. I'm guessing he might have been a vampire hunter, but I don't really know for sure. <gasps> Sorry, lady. I just need a sip, that's all. Just a sip. Very small sip. Thank you so much. Well, I guess we should report this. Evening there. Something burning? Ooh, smells like someone burnt the burgers. <sighs> Never mind that. I need to see LaCroix. Uh, sure, I'll open her up for you. Jeez, I could go for one of them double spaced burgers with the onions and the cheese and some bacon and a guacamole. Ooh. Thanks. <laughs> we have to talk to him every single time. Hmm. Things are definitely happening then. If a primogen died, that's a big deal, isn't it? And we don't know how long he's died for. Who could kill a primogen anyway? Another vampire. A vampire hunter? That guy came to kill Grout. 
but Grau died already. So at the very minimum, two people wanted him dead. The Primogens still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you were not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. <sighs> Grout's dead. Grout's dead? What? Yeah, and this guy, Bach, set his house on fire. Nearly killed me. Bach! Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Bach killed Grout to draw me out. Seemed like Grout was already dead when he arrived. Bok is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? Yeah, that was the one thing that threw me off, because in my head, a vampire hunter is doing this because vampires are the devil. Actually, that makes perfect sense then, because they believe in a god, and vampires are the devil. But I thought that their reason might not have been so... religious, I guess? But they are. So really, all these different fashions and clans here were all cut from the same cloth. Oh, that's right, we saw nines there. Hmm... Should I tell them about nines? Uh, I think I'm gonna keep that information to myself for now. If you let me finish... Let you finish? With whom do you presume you're speaking? <sighs> I was just gonna add, I saw Nines there. Look at me. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? Okay, so we had to tell him anyway. But now we pissed him off a little bit because we were like, Let me finish because you interrupted me rudely! God... No, I don't- Okay, we talked to Nines right before going to the mansion. The way he spoke, the things he was saying, his whole demeanor, it was completely different. No, and I'm not sure it was Nines either. Something was... weird. It means... Under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus, and I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. This also is very important, so I need to call upon your skill once more. The Ankaran sarcophagus was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. I would like you to bring it back here for safekeeping. He's not gonna let me talk. Hmm... A war isn't good for anybody. Nobody wants a war. I think we should go talk to Nines. Yeah, whatever. Gladly. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. Guess I'm not sleeping tonight. All these tasks have left me a little short on cash. Yes, of course. Uh, here. I can't have one of my representatives running around ill-equipped for their task. Hey, pretty good, huh? We managed to persuade a Ventru. Well, that should permit me to more quickly bring the sarcophagus to you. Or... Wait, why is that a persuasion? That sounds like a normal thing. I guess I'll do it. Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. <gasps> Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. Okay, deception. I can do that. That's a Toreador thing. If we find another person just like the police on the ship, we should be okay. <laughs> Uh, I have a few things I have to do to prep for this. I'll be right back. Museum. Museum that Pisha wanted her occult item from. Okay. Ooh, things are really starting to ramp up here, huh? We probably should have done the Elizabeth Dane earlier, because it felt like we got two big main quests in a row now. 
And suddenly so much progress is being made on the sarcophagus. Let's go talk to... Nines. What was with him? Something strange was happening. Oh, wrong side. This side. If he killed Grout, would he even have the ability to kill Grout? Kind of doubt that too. Yeah, you view the charred remains of Alistair Grout. Damn, I really thought he was still going to be alive by the end. I don't think we've ever met a dead, important vampire before. Oh. Now I feel like I gotta be wary of the streets. You never know who's lurking around the corner. Hey, Nines. Hmm. Do you really think it was him, though? It could be. I don't think it's a doppelganger kind of thing. But then why was he acting so suspicious? That's so not Nines. What we know of him. Oh! Hmm. Heard anything? Where's Nines? Where's Nines? You measly fuck. You got a lot of nerve showing up here, Lick. What did I do? You fingered Nines. Said he killed a goddamn primogen. I just saw him there. At least, I think I did. But that sounds so uncertain, though. Hmm. I'm willing to believe you were a patsy in all this, but I'll be watching you, kid. News spreads fast, huh? I just told the prince, but how come everyone knows already? That was fast. Where did Nines go? Don't expect to see him until this bullshit is resolved. Oh, he's trying to hide out because people are hunting him. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah? Who do you want to know about? I guess we yeah. can't ask about him. But now we can't verify whether that was really Nines or not. Listen, kid. You did what you had to do. Just a messenger, right? I really did see Nines, though. Can you help me try to figure out why that was the case? Are my eyes going bad? Was that a hallucination? Or was it really Nines? Skelter didn't take it so lightly. Don't worry about Skelter. He's like all these big barking pups nowadays. They don't bite unless they get cornered. What do you think happened? It's a ruse by LaCroix, so you can call the blood hunt on nines. Standard smear job. Textbook cami bullshit. I don't think so. Mm, earlier, a lot earlier, Jack also suggested the possibility to me that, hey, what if the prince was the person who made sure that the Sabbat came after me. Kind of put that idea out of my head for now, but um, this time I don't think so because he was telling me that he didn't want a blood hunt on Nines. Because up until now, LaCroix hasn't really had reason to not trust me, so I don't think he would try to um, put a facade in front of me. Because there's no reason why he would tell me, oh, I don't really want a blood hunt, but actually he really does. Hmm. Nines has enough kindred protection. He shouldn't have to hide. Yeah, sure, but there's packs of youngsters out there who'd love to make a name by bringing in the head of Nines Rodriguez. But the blood hunt hasn't been called, has it? LaCroix just said he was holding off on it. What can I do to help? <laughs> You're just eager to please, ain't you? I could give a goddamn kid, but I'm sure the boys here would appreciate it if you kept it business as usual. You hear me? I can do that. Damn it, Nines... I didn't ask you about L.A. yet! Oh, I feel like things are starting to rapidly become really complicated. There's a lot of deception going on now, and who do we really trust? It's hard to say, it's hard to say, because... That conversation made me trust Jack a little bit less. Yeah, because he was like, hey, what if LaCroix was the one doing that, but I... Mm, but LaCroix normally is already kind of a manipulative person, so is he really not lying to me? I feel like I can't say that either. It's all a little bit complicated now, and who do we really trust? I don't know. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. 
We talk about upholding the masquerade code as a way to um, stop humans from detecting us. But at the same time, the word masquerade implies stuff like, you know, facades, wearing a mask, and deception in general. A masquerade not just from the outside, but among our own species too. If these two guys have been stuck here for like 20 years, do you need some help? I don't want to talk to you. Move. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, this poor guy's stuck here too. Oh man. Do we really only have the? Um, we're going back to the taxi again for the museum, right? I mean, I guess so. Wait, actually, it's not even a quest here. What the heck? What? This is the only quest? What about the going to the museum? Do we have to go back to the prince? These two we really haven't made any progress with so far. Yeah, I saw a bloody murder, but I couldn't find anything about the killer. Except that he's probably a vampire of some kind. And then Mud Hunt. I overheard a message telling Durbin and Milton to meet someone at an unknown location across the street from a bar. There's no bar in... Wait. This is in Santa Monica, but the bar in downtown, is it talking about the last round? Because um, across from the last round, wasn't there like um, a warehouse place that we went to before? It was a combat area, but we didn't do anything with it? Yeah, like we went there and there was nothing in there. Maybe that's changed now? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, this is the only place that we've been to that hasn't had a purpose yet. Feels like it should be something important. Not that, not that. Do you mind if I just have a really quick sip? Thank you. I want to suck you dry. And while we weren't looking, all the CDC people disappeared. They just left. What did they even do? They were just standing around the street corners, but they did nothing. But this place. This place. Hello? Wait, that wasn't there before? Hey! Whoa! Oh my... God! Hey! What happened here? <laughs> Did you see it? What did you see? These two guys, the dead guy and another, and uh, they showed up. Uh, I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Yeah? What were they doing? Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting, well, he was late. So the one guy leaves, you find the phone and call him, and, uh, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. Milton and Durbin came. One of them leave, and then the killer came and killed the remaining one. What? Which one made the phone call? Did you catch his name? The dead fella called him Muddy. Go on. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up, scared the shit out of the dead guy. I like to scream, but I couldn't breathe. That's a damn vampire. Invisibility? Nosferatu? Then what happened? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The dead guy went white like he'd seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The, the killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. Oh my goodness. Oh, I want to ask more questions first. What about the other guy, Muddy? Did he come back? No, he never come back. Hmm. I could just persuade him, but to be more responsible, we should use our powers to try to make him forget. That would probably be a slightly better option. Now be a good boy and forget everything you saw here. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. You better do. Oh my... No! 
No! Stop giving me redemptions when I haven't done anything bad yet! <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh my goodness, it's still dripping. No, that's not related. Oh, I don't even know. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get the name straight again. You talk to a bum inside an abandoned warehouse, the scene of the latest grisly murder. The bum witnessed the killing and told you the killer grew claws and ripped the victim apart while saying something about revenge. These two are related, hold on! Wait, the peer killings! This is the one that updated, I thought it was gonna be this one. But it is related because he said muddy, he mentioned a muddy. Okay, I went to Skyline to look for Muddy, but I went to Milton's house instead and found a message telling him, telling Durbin and Milton to meet someone at the unknown location. The unknown person is a killer? Hold on. It's been so long since we did this, I kinda... Ow! Ow! I wasn't smart. I wasn't smart. But yeah, I gotta like, take some time to, rem take some time to remember this again. Lucky Star Room Key. Is that like a hotel? No, 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 not this, not this. Lucky Star Room Key. I don't see it here. Because it's here. But we don't know what Lucky Star is yet. You found the shredded body of Milton at an abandoned warehouse, but Durbin was nowhere to be found. You did find a key to the Lucky Star Motel, though. Okay, so whenever we run across Lucky Star, that'll be a way to continue our thing. Oh... These two are coming together! Yeah, yeah. The latest grisly murder killings. It's a Nosferatu. It's gotta be, because they turn invisible. Oh, I'm so- Ah. This is really brutal, though. This is like... Not a vampire killing out of um, necessity or accidentally because they want blood. No, this was revenge-fueled. And to rip someone's head off, too. That's... Oh, it was right here. Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, we should tell the police or something, and I- I am completely burnt from walking into the fire earlier. That's wonderful. I'm just gonna blood heal a little bit here, and then maybe... Does my blood heal stay across loading screens? It does not. <laughs> nice to know. It's okay. Okay. Good enough for now. I know someone's gonna come here. Yeah, this guy's gonna come. You stay still, and then... Oh! You're joking me, you're joking- Who said that? Who said that? Oh! Man, I just got back full health and... I guess I was a little bit too far, but the, the bum saw me. Saw me trying to feed on him. That's okay, we've never really... Oh, that's right in the sewers! We can feed on rats. <laughs> Wonderful. <gasps> Police are looking for me. That's okay, it's not the first time that's happened. <laughs>